Hey everyone, how are you guys? Welcome back to a daily deal. It's been quite some time since I did a daily deal. I've been busy quilting and crafting and getting gifts ready for friends and family. And that is how I came up with this beautiful piece here. And then the rest is just extra goodies that makes it a complete pack. Today's daily deal is only $25. Um, I think it's a very good price, a, probably a great price also in the range for a gift for a friend. This price will include a beautiful pocket journal, a burlap bag that I had made, and um, uh, obviously you can see here a mug cozy as well, which I'll show those things here in a minute. But originally I came up with this idea. I was quilting and crafting, and I was wanting to make um, a wallet for a friend that was uh, a tea wallet. And the tea wallet, because she loves tea and all that, and I thought, well, I'll make it quilted um, and make it look like a wallet and have like a, a rubber band closure and everything. So she just puts it right in her purse and it's ready to go kind of thing. Perfect size um, for um, her, you know, her purse and her travels and stuff like that. Easy access with that rubber band opening and close open enclosure. Now to get this daily deal, um, before I jump into it, down below is all the information you need. My shop link is right there. It's a direct link. Um, I'll have the direct link down below as well for just this daily deal. So you're not searching around the shop wondering where it's at kind of thing. Um, like I said, $25, it's lightweight. It is around, it's like around seven ounces for the entire thing. So if you're international, it's a great uh, deal for you as well. The, the lightweight shipping is going to be awesome. So this this journal measures, um, let me see really quick. I think it's five, five by eight and a half. Like I said, looks just like a wallet. It closes really awesome. And so when I designed it, I thought, okay, T. But as I was playing around and creating it for my friend, um, it just turned into a journal. As you can see here, the reason why I called it um, a T wallet is because uh, the pattern that I did, it has inserts on inside of either or. So she could say if she goes to Barnes and Nobles, what have you, her T's right there. All she has to do is ask for a cup of hot water. I also included in this journal, um, as you can see at the bottom, the uh, hot cocoa packs. So in case you are a person who loves hot cocoa, but don't you think that is an adorable gift? Um, and that's why I made the cozy for the mug. This mug, the mug cozy <clears throat> is adjustable and it fits also like the cups for like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, like the cups that even narrow to the bottom. And what I love about that, it's like a bookmarker that you can put in here and travel with it as well. So if you say you are at a Barnes and Novo's, or a, a Dunkin' Donuts, you can actually use your cozy on their cups as well. So I wanted it for her that way. And so I figured if I'm gonna make her this gift, I might as well make these up for you guys. And this, this journal fits perfectly in this burlap bag. I had handmade these burlap bags and I stringed in this beautiful yarn that's a fuzzy yarn. And on top, you're going to see a wooden figurine here that you can personalize, what have you. I thought it went really well with the theme. Some are, are a bear. One, I think there's squirrels and there's a fox. So if you're particular on the tag, just message me. That's fine. Um, but this journal is perfect. Um, it is adorable. And to top it off, I created it to where this whole signature could come right out. It, if you go to the center, you'll see here. Because what if this is, because it's almost like um, it's already a travel pack for your uh, teas and hot cocoa, what have you. It's also a travel pack for your journal. So if you filled this journal out and you want to insert a whole new one, you could do that. You just pull this right through here. And I made sure it had two strings just in case you want to make it a double signature. So there's one here and then there's obviously another here that you can switch over and make it. Um, so I didn't put a big signature and this one is just a starter example and it's lightweight. Like I said, you have more room for another one if you wanted to kind of thing. This one I had really, this actually to be quite honest, this is my first completed journal. I have made, I, have, I can make up to 25. I have made one for now. Once orders come in, I will create them one by one. Um, they'll be done within, you know, they'll be shipped out by Monday or Tuesday. So perfect just before Christmas. You have time to say if you do receive them, that you can ship them out to the friend or family member that you're shipping them out to. So I'll have these done like within a few days. So they're pretty much like an assembly line fun to make. But what's my favorite part of all, of course, one, is that I actually finished a journal. 
and then I'm going to be making them all for you guys and gifts for your friends and family. 25 bucks, you can't beat it. But I had fun with the embroidered part of my machine for these pockets. So you'll see here the theme going on is this beautiful red like ivy like uh, plant kind of thing going on here. Exactly the signature of the pages I'm going to show you. Each journal is exactly the same. There's a few things different because some um, vintage postcards will be different on others, but they're pretty much similar to the what you see exactly on here. They're all vintage 1800s, early 1900s um, type of postcards that I just kind of embroidered the same theme of the pockets on the front. As you can see here, there's room to put a photo or something that you want kind of thing. I put a pocket in here, and of course, I inserted another vintage postcard. I, I just love the Christmas vintage postcards. They're just quite adorable. As you can see here as well, I have here two pages that you'll get in these journals of Debbie Long. Debbie Long had color dyed some papers, and we traded. And so I used her papers in this journal because she is a good follower and friend of all of us here on YouTube in the junk journal world. And I want to put pieces of her work in there. And again, I had put embroidered the top of the page here on the side. I'm sorry, I should say the same pattern as well. The next page you're going to see is beautiful. I had got this book, vintage book of all kinds of quotes and different words and stuff, um, all positive sayings. Like, I believe in me. You can always be the better, your best. Let's, <clears throat> let us dare to read, think, speak, and write. John Adams. Different quotes for certain people and the people who are anonymous as well. I figured it put a positive vibe in this journal, which was awesome. Um, I, each journal, I had sewn in a page um, with that different kind of flannel fabric at the top. This is just a tag, just kind of hanging in there, a double tag. I cut this pa uh, paper, this coffee dyed paper, short. So you can see, again, here, I did some more embroidering. I had so much fun with my sewing machine. As you could tell, I was having a little fun. Some poinsettias here on the border. I did a lot of writing paper in this one to where you can do a lot of, you know, whatever journaling you want to do. Here's Debbie's paper here. This is her digital. And, of course, more writing paper. Here are some quotes at the bottom. There's the middle of the signature. Again, like I said, you can add more paper. As you can see, there's more papers from the opposite side. Lots of paper to write in, add pictures, what have you. And here at the back, the other paper I would put in there, it is cute, um, different ephemera pack. has a couple buttons there that you see there. There's some... Uh, trader stamps and vintage ice coupons and some things like that in there. It's a cute little pack that goes with that in case they want to add little things to it kind of thing. Of course, music paper. And as you can see in the back, there's the right, you know, the extra like packets and things like that. It's adorable. I left the string here at the bottom to be like little pom-pom kind of dangles. It is beautiful, soft, quilted, adorable, and I love the color of it. I hope you guys love it too. $25. Go ahead and grab one. Before you leave, you got to check out. I did this here. I had some mugs from my kitchen. It's the only one I can find. Um, again, it's adorable. It's adjustable. I made it kind of big so that in case you have bigger mugs kind of thing, it latches on like that. <laughs> Don't <laughs> Waffle House. Hey, it's the only mug I had. And here is the Snuggie. So like I said, you can put it on a tapered cup, what have you. And like I said earlier, you can put this in here like a book car a book marker kind of thing in your book or when you present it to the person that you do as a gift. And you put it in there and look at how adorable that is. So you can also travel with this. So wherever you go getting a coffee, it is ready to go. Uh, my daughter even said was really cool is you can even put your cell phone in there say in your cards and stuff if you did not want to bring your entire purse along you got that there for you all right guys i hope you absolutely <clears throat> excuse me love the creation i made of course it started out as a gift i was making for someone now i could give you something a quilted journal that you can give a friend and um, possibly a great gift. 25 bucks, you can't beat it. It's going to be lightweight on shipping. So shipping should be around like $3.55, $4 the most. Um, give, and give, it, give some change kind of thing in there, depending on what state you live in kind of thing. So don't worry. It message me if you have any questions. I'll be creating these as soon as orders come in. Um, I hope you guys love the things I made. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye.